All right, how's everyone doing today? Good. Good. So what is the scientific method? The scientific method is all about identifying a problem or a question, doing research, and then making an educated guess or a hypothesis about what the answer might be. Then you start doing experiments, you make observations, and then you find out, was your hypothesis right or wrong? Is it a bad thing if your hypothesis is wrong? No. It's definitely not a bad thing because those are tools for further learning in science. In fact, some of the things that we really value today, in fact a lot, were actually mistakes of science. So let's just name a few. Silly putty was a mistake of science. The slinky, post-it notes, penicillin, and that's just naming a few. Another example are fireworks. And speaking of fireworks, I thought I'd light some paper on fire. <laughs> All right, so I've got a couple pieces of paper here, and I'm gonna light it on fire. Now what we know about burning paper is that it's a chemical reaction. And as a result of this chemical reaction, you have ashes left over. So we're gonna burn this paper and have a look at the ashes. All right, are you ready? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Positive? Yeah. All right, here we go. I don't see any ashes. Maybe we should burn another piece. That was awfully strange. All right, here we go. Ready? Okay, so really there's something up with that paper, obviously. It's a paper called flash paper. And it acts just like regular paper. You can write on it to pass notes or, or whatever. But when you burn it, it reacts completely different than regular paper does. The reason why is it has one additional ingredient. And that additional ingredient is nitrocellulose, which is one of the same ingredients you find in gunpowder. So just adding that small change made that paper react differently. And now you see it in a lot of magic shows, but it's actually just really science. So back to the mistakes of science. So then what are mistakes in life? Mistakes in life really are only truly bad if you don't learn from those mistakes. If you don't take something away from it that you can add to the way that you solve problems in the future, the way that you ask questions. So each failure, which by the way, failure is an option, not learning from a failure is not an option. All those things help you make better informed decisions in the future, just like with science. Because really, things are not always what they seem. Let's take, for example, this cup. I'm gonna pour some water in this cup. What? It's not water. How strange. All right, the deal is with that, actually I put an acid in the water, and then a little bit of an indicator in the glass, and that indicator's job is to let a scientist know if they're working with an acid or a base. So it let us know by changing colors. But what about if I take this card and I put this card over the glass like this and then I turn the glass upside down? It would be a super bad thing if I took my hand away, right? I should definitely not do this. We have this pretty, you know, red carpet. So that'd be a bad thing. I should, oh wait. So actually, that was totally not what you expect. But the deal is, that's just all science. It's two types of pressure. You've got water pressure pushing down, you've got air pressure pushing up. So which one's stronger? Air. Air pressure, very good. So in life and in science, you're gonna have a lot of twists and turns and things that happen. So I'm gonna use this paper to kind of demonstrate that for you guys. Take a little bit of paper here, and I'm gonna cut a piece just like this. And then I'm going to tape it together with no problems. So does that mean that it's always going to turn out the same, that the first thing that you always think it's going to be is going to be the end result? No, no, not always. The funny thing about this, and I'm going to cut papers I talked to you guys, is when I was your age, I was super, super afraid of science. I didn't think I would ever do anything with science. And as I grew older, and life changed course and stuff like that, I discovered that I really love science. And I wanted to make it my life's work to make science fun and accessible. So when you have something like this happen, you have a result like this, right? 
But if you have twists and turns, which we'll do that again here with the paper. So same thing, but this time we're going to put a twist and a turn in it and cut it. Do you think the result is going to be the same? No. Okay, do you think the result is going to be a bad thing? No. <coughs> Maybe. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens. Another thing at your age that I was actually really afraid of was public speaking. Did you guys know that that's the number one fear over death? Did you know that? So think about these kids who are up here today giving these talks, and how about we give them a round of applause for being so good. All right. So it's really not a bad thing. It's just a different way of looking at things. So the way with science and the way with life is approach problems a different way. Approach a problem as an opportunity, as an opportunity for something really great to happen. Have a great rest of your day.